Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here. Friends, I know all of you are waiting for me to announce that a cure has been found for HIV. I wish I could, but I don't have that kind of information. You tune in every week and I think you look forward to the video and it gives you inspiration. It also gives you an assurance that the world is working hard for a cure. And I think I can settle for that at this point of time until we get a cure like AGT-103 or EBT-101 or something else. It's difficult to bring a new therapy every time. In today's instance, a combination of new and old has shown promise in being an ART. So I'm going to talk about that today. Let's get started. <music> Welcome back friends. This video discusses positive results from a phase 1b clinical trial conducted by Gilead Sciences. Guys, you know that Gilead has already come up with 12 different medications for HIV. They got around 14 in their pipeline at this point of time. This is one of those. And this involves the investigational drug lenacapavir, teropavimab and zindlirvimab for the treatment of HIV. The trial aimed to assess the efficacy and safety of combining these three agents as a potential twice-yearly treatment approach for adult HIV patients who had maintained virological suppression for over two years while on antiretroviral therapy. Key points from this uh, uh, news article basically is that the first one is that the trial objective was uh, to evaluate the combination of lenacapavir teropafimab and zinlirlimab in selected adult HIV patients who had achieved and sustained virological suppression for at least two years with a CD4 cell count of um, greater than or equal to 500. The goal was to explore the safety and effectiveness of this new regimen, the combination of these three uh, medicines. The results of the trial indicated that the investigational combination of drugs was well tolerated by participants and demonstrated high efficiency among the virologically suppressed HIV patients who were part of the study. Virological suppression, uh, when, it, when you look at the aspect of virological suppression, the study reported that 90% of participants who received the complete study regimen uh, maintain virologic uh, suppression at week 26. This suggests that the combination of lenacapavir, teropavimab and zinrinimab was effective in uh, preventing the virus from uh, replicating. So that's a very positive news. And again, the positive thing out here to remember is the six-month time frame that they were talking about. In terms of safety, the trial did not observe any adverse uh, uh, events or um, adverse events that required discontinuation of the study uh, drugs. So that's again a big positive. This indicates that the combination regimen was well tolerated by the participants and Gilead Sciences expressed enthusiasm about the positive outcomes and the potential of lenacapavir to be foundational agent for long-acting combination HIV uh, treatment options. The company plans to further explore this investigational combination in a phase two study, uh, phase two trial, aiming to establish it as, as a long active HIV treatment option. I think this will probably be a, end up being approved for once in every six months kind of application, which will be great for many people instead of having to take daily medicine. Commitment to uh, HIV care by Gilead is a well-known fact. I mean, they don't have to tell it. When you look at the number of uh, therapies they have bought for HIV, uh, it's self-evident. The company's HIV clinical development vice president, Jared uh, Byton, uh, emphasized that uh, dedication to developing novel therapy approaches that cater to the diverse uh, lives of people living with HIV. Uh, is very important for Gilead. The goal is to provide uh, treatment options that align with patients' needs and lifestyle while working towards ending the HIV epidemic. In summary, the phase uh, uh, 1b clinical trial conducted by Gilead Sciences demonstrated that the combination of lenacapavir, teropovimab, and zinlirivimab is a well-tolerated and effective approach in maintaining virological suppression for virologically suppressed HIV patients. The positive results have encouraged the company to proceed with further evaluation in a phase two trial as a potential long-acting HIV treatment option. 
One may say, so what is new? There are many ART combinations. Well, each ART has some side effects. Having more ART combination provides healthcare workers with better options to suit uh, mix and match uh, uh, ART for uh, different patients based on their individual situation. If somebody has a weak kidney uh, and also has HIV, probably an ART combination that does not go heavy on the kidney would be preferred. Likewise, there are various people with different uh, weaknesses in their body. So if the side effect of different ART is different, then that provides enough choice for the healthcare workers to uh, make sure that the patient is taken care of along with HIV, that something else doesn't go wrong. And um, the other uh, big thing about this is that we are now starting to talk about once in six month uh, uh, treatment to keep the viral loads low. I think that's a big progress. So we have to wait and see what happens here. Uh, and uh, as always, I would say that uh, look at it as glass half full and not glass half empty. It's all a question of perspective. That's all for now, my friends, and I'll be back with you with the next video soon. Bye for now.